Oh, hello, I'm back with a new video that I say I'm going to upload like a few days ago but I've been pretty busy with the shop updates that I'm going to release this weekend so here's the new video for that I'm gonna say this again if you wanna see more of my drawing process you can visit my Instagram because sometimes I don't have much time to edit and upload videos on YouTube so I just post short videos on Instagram and pictures on Instagram so yeah you can visit my Instagram another thing is thank you for 1.2k subscriber <laughs> oh my god this is fast and this is crazy and thank you so much for the support and kind and lovely comments uh, I try as much as I can to reply to your comment but if it is a repeated question you might want to scroll around the comment section for the answer so I don't really have the the clips of me sketching this designs of memo pad because I don't know why but I always have like a burst of idea right before I go to bed when I'm laying down uh, switch off my lamp and I'm with my tablet laying down and sketching on my tab it is just like that so I don't really have much clips or videos that is recorded for that because usually, usually it is, it is always when I'm laying down. <laughs> I got this question a lot about Samsung DAX. If you want to know Samsung DAX is something like desktop, desktop mode of Samsung devices. And I think for, from what I know, the cheapest Samsung tablet that has Samsung DAX is X6 Lite which also came with S Pen so you might want to go for Samsung S6 Lite if you want Samsung DAX another question that is frequently asked to me on the comment section is how did I draw without the palm rejection I just do I just draw like a normal person believe it or not that we don't really need palm rejection <clears throat> like I've seen people with iPad they don't really raise their palms on the screen and was it difficult not having palm rejection no it's not I mean you get used to it I mean just because you don't have the palm rejection doesn't mean you cannot draw right was it logic that you cannot I cannot draw because I can rest my palm on the screen because drawing is a skill it is not something that you got when you buy something it's not like I, I'm gonna buy this iPad and when I buy this but I'm gonna be a great digital artist it, it doesn't work that way so yeah keep that in mind that no matter what devices you use to draw just make the best of what you have you doesn't need those expensive devices if you want a cheaper option just ask on the comment section because I have a lot more cheaper option than Samsung Tab S7 that you can look for if you want to start digital art like you can go for drawing tablet like you can connect it on your phones you can connect it on the laptops on the PC you can go for drawing tablet like Huion and a lot more brands just ask on the comment section other people could help if they know and I also can help you remember this make the best of what you have you doesn't need an iPad to draw you actually can draw with anything even pen and paper is enough you don't need to spend much money I mean if you are a beginner in digital art you are really not needed of an iPad 
especially if you are not capable capable of buying one i mean if you ask for your parents money to buy an ipad so you can draw that's a sham on you especially if you are a beginner i mean as a beginner i am a beginner myself you as a beginner you don't really need expensive devices i mean you are in a learning process and there's a lot more stuff that you didn't know i mean as a beginner you don't even know what is the difference between alpha lock and clipping you don't even know how to use the bucket tool do you really need an expensive devices to draw on it is a le- it is a learning process and as time goes by and you make some money you can buy the, the device that you want you can buy the ipad if you want i mean if you want something work for it yourself i mean use your own money don't ask for from others to buy it from you because usually when it is something that is given to you you won't really appreciate to think because uh, like if you buy it yourself like you will appreciate the things more than the things that people give you, give to you for free and that is fact Okay, enough of me nagging and talking a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna do some self promotion for my shop. So if you are my local Malaysian, you can go to my shop, to my Shopee. It is on the description box and it is on the pin comment. The link of my Shopee shop, mini code store. If you are someone that love stationery like memo pads, notepads, stickers and a lot of other stuff I offer those things in my shop so if you are interested you can visit my shop and maybe purchase some for me I would really greatly appreciate that but if you are not my locals I can't really help you because I'm not accepting any foreigners i'm not accepting any overseas order i'm not accepting any non-local orders from for now because i'm still in a learning process and i still have a small small tiny business right now and if i see a lot of like possibility and a lot of people that is interested in getting my stickers and they are not my local I might consider in accepting non-local orders later on but for now I have I've only seen like four to five people that is interested and I think I'm gonna wait for more people that will be interested and please be aware of our community tab because sometimes no not sometimes it is most of the time i post the polls for the next content so you can vote on the polls which content you would love to see for later on so i might post another post after this what i'm thinking of making digital journal video after this because it is easier for me to make this video yeah please be alert of our community community tab and if you want to see the finished drawing and the finished product of this design you can again you can go to my instagram i already met actually a lot of lot more designed after this design finish which is actually this video was a bit lead to be uploaded on youtube actually i'm making another die cut stickers already i'm already sketching again and yeah go to my instagram if you 
want to see more of my drawing process one more thing um it seems like people aren't really interested in the patreon so i'm gonna make it easier for you um if you want the digital stickers that i made you might want to go to my instagram and directly dm me directly message me there and say that you are interested and you can give me your email address and i could send the pngs of the digital stickers to your email address so you can use them and you can make the payment through paypal especially if you are overseas you're not my locals but if you're my locals you can also dm me on instagram and i can uh, we can make the payment in other alternative like online banking transfer if you're interested in my digital stickers um uh, those stickers were actually what I use for my digital journal so if you're interested in them you can go to my Instagram and message me there and say you're interested and give your email and we can make the payment after that um, the digital stickers will be more in a lower price like one dollar because it is digital so I don't really need to put the price higher than that so if you're interested just go to my instagram This is what it turns out.